Hi, this is Tom Henderson from ESVA.net, the Shores homepage, coming to you from Spring Pond, where we're about to make a test flight of our new Parrot drone camera. Got pretty good altitude on this baby. Whoops, I forgot to calibrate. Ah, get back up. It's about to hit my car. Hang on a minute, i got to calibrate the controls. I haven't got it in absolute mode yet. Let me get it away from obstacles. Well, it still seems to want to fly low. I can't complain. Up, up, up. Get up, you critter. It's complaining about something. It's got little red lights. Uh, let's see now. Settings. I like absolute mode. Do. Let's do it. It's got to calibrate itself, though. Okay. Calibrate. Okay. Pretty cool. So now should be in absolute mode if I that's eh, pretty good, it's pretty good. Well, ah, it's losing its hull. Ah! It crashed on the front deck. <laughs> Whoa, it was flying backwards and it started to lose its outdoor hull. And then it crashed. <laughs> I don't know. It suddenly then came down and whap. I guess I'm glad it didn't land on the roof. Maybe I want to tape that down. I don't know. That doesn't. Oof. Okay. All right. All right. All right. T try it again. Try it again. Take take off. Go. Get out of here, guy. Get a little away from the house. Get a little altitude. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> this thing's got the ability to do flips. <laughs> that is kind of neat. <laughs> This thing is way cool. Oh, I'm still looking at the bottom. There we go. That might be a little dizzying. I should be able to slow that down. If I can get to the settings. Let's see. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Rotation speed max. Let's cut that in about in half. And now we'll have it spin around. 
Uh, it's maybe a little less seasickness inducing. That's not bad. It's doing a little orbit there. That might actually get us a decent panoramic of something good. I'm not quite sure I want to do an ultimate range test on this thing, cause, mostly because I don't want to have to run after it. But this is rather cool here, you know. And I rather do like this absolute mode. It, makes it, it does make it a whole lot easier to do this stuff when you're watching it. You don't want it when you're flying by eye, but I'm not sure that you can fly by eye with this thing very effectively. Yeah, I'm strafing myself. And it's doing a spin. It doesn't seem to have much directional stability there. Oh. Still got 59% battery. This thing's going pretty good. With flips and everything. Come back here, guy. You're a little far away. <laughs> there we go. I think maybe I want to get below treetop height. What do you think? God, look at that. I am looking down on the trees. Maybe I do want to get down a little bit. This thing really gets up there. Good hang time, too. <laughs> Come down here, fella. Come down here. Hi. <laughs> okay. The flips don't look like much in the camera, I'm thinking, but they do look cool when the thing's flying. But it'll also do barrel rolls. It's enough of the back flips. thing is it's got to gain altitude for the back flip. I think we're probably better off with uh, like a left flip or a right flip like this in terms of keeping a view of something. Yeah, I don't look like much through the video link. Wow, I'm still at 49% power. Good God almighty. This thing flies a while. Whoops, I think I flew into the bamboo. Almost, almost. Come on this way, guy. And back towards me. Oh god, it's got an altimeter. It says it's 17, 16, 17 meters up. That 18, that's that ceiling. That's the ceiling I programmed it for. Okay. Oh golly. <laughs> and the ceiling goes up to like 100. What is the ceiling setting on this thing? A hundred meters. This way, baby. Okay, fork 
gets any further, let's do a spin. And let's bring her back down. All right, the spin is bringing it down. There we go. A nice little panoramic there. That should be a good shot. Holy cow, I'm looking at it on the screen. It's a great shot. We're going to try this in the summertime on a dead calm day, and I'm going to see how high I can bring this thing up. Now, I don't know if I want to do that or not. I just told it to land. Nope, I canceled it in mid-flight. What do you know? It was landing in the middle of the field. This thing is actually, well, I'm not sure what you're expecting to do with this thing. I'm still at 45% power. This thing's got impressive flight time, I think. For something this small and light, whoops, all right. I don't know what it just did. It just landed and then took off again. Come back here, fella. All right, a couple landing pads are a little dirty. Other than that, it's looking pretty good. It's a little noisy close up. How do, folks? I'm still here. I think we're still recording. The little light's still blinking. All righty. I am impressed. I am impressed by our little flying camera. This is really something cool. And fun, too. And I'm going to lower that ceiling a little bit and send you up again. I got you at a 30-meter limit, and that makes me nervous. 17 is plenty. Here we go. Up you go, fella. It's straight overhead. I've still got Link. Still talking to it. It's not that far away. We're still, we're still dealing. Let's do it. Pan. Yeah. Oh, it's losing altitude on the pan. That's okay. This could be really great for something like a music festival or something. All right, bring it down here where I can catch it. Come on down, fella. Come on down. Come on down. Down you go. Down you go. Get down here. Come on, a little lower, a little lower. That's good. Hold her there. <laughs> you know, we can almost do this. Hi, this is Tom Henderson from ESVA.net, the Shores homepage, from my slightly bouncy camera in the sky. This is rather cool, you know. I like this thing. Ah, 16% battery. Battery low alert. Ah, how high can you get on your waning battery? Well, not more than your 17 meter flight ceiling, I hope. Whoops, I think it just declared an emergency. It doesn't want to do that, it's landing. Okay, that was cool.